Oh, it's clearly a stadium that we're really enjoying playing at. I mean, it's a world-class vicinity, isn't it? And you'd expect nothing less than this day and age. So, to see the, the Dockers there, the Eagles there, both playing on it, both playing good football. I think that's what people pay to see, and, and that's something we're really happy with. I certainly don't know what people are alluding to when they say that. I mean, Optus Stadium is built for two teams, and it takes two to tango, so... I think we'll get a really good derby there. I think we'll get a full house. And I think that'll be important for the public and, and the wider community. But to say it's the Eagles home ground, I think that's disappointing. I don't think you pump that much money into a ground purely for the sake of it to service one team. So Eagles fans would know that. They're smart. They're intelligent. Or you'd at least like to think so. So I think we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, well, I think that's a really obvious question with a really obvious answer. I mean, I'm contracted with the football club for the next couple of years, aren't I? So I'm not too sure where you're writing your stories or where you're getting your information from. But I actually had a meeting this morning with the football club, with administration, and everything was really going well. They're saying they're happy with where we're at. So, yeah, sorry to disappoint you, but, yeah, I'm probably going to be here a bit longer than you'd hope. So, yeah. what's your name? You're quite brilliant, Shane. No, terrific. Terrific. Oh, I've got a few pet hates. Yeah, no, certainly a couple. Uh, I think one would be, for me, coming back after a big day of football at the club, and, you know, it might be on a weeknight, get home, 7 o'clock, phone goes, who is it? Not sure. So I answer, and clearly it's a telemarketer. So, you know, they'll go through the, the process with you. And, look, I understand they're doing their job. They can't be helped. It's a job of retention. They need to make sales, and I understand that. So, obviously, it's disappointing. Uh, you get the call. You have to obviously let them down and, and hang up on the phone. And I think that's the most disappointing thing about it. And sometimes, why I just can't let it go. Mentally, it probably gets to me going into the next day. I look at the situation. Could I have handled it better? Probably I could. Did I? Probably not. So, those questions are certainly asked, and they're answered accordingly. So... Yeah, it's disappointing.